Hi everyone, I'm back with an unboxing video today. I took receipt of a new telescope a couple of days ago. I've just been a bit busy, never got around to actually opening it up yet. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll see that I'm running with a Bresser Newtonian, an 8 inch Newtonian, an NT203 1000mm. And I felt uh, that I want to do a bit of an upgrade to that. And today I'll be unboxing a Celestron uh, Edge 11 inch. So this is the current scope. It's uh, the Bresser Newtonian sitting on top of the CGX mount. And I use uh, this AR90 uh, guide scope which I'm sitting currently on my old uh, Exos 2 mount. Uh, today I was having a a bit of a play around with that uh, outside uh, just to see how I could do uh, daytime alignment and uh, uh, seeing how I would get on uh, trying a bit of a solar filter so maybe more on that uh, later on. But today here she is a uh, new uh, Celestron uh, optical tube assembly and it's the 11 inch Edge 8D. So let's get into the unboxing. So as you'd expect from an 11 inch tube, it comes in quite a large uh, package and it's well, uh, well padded, although the box has taken a couple of minor uh, scuffs in transit but I hope it's uh, all be going to be good inside. Uh, I ordered this one uh, from uh, Telescope Express in Germany. Uh, as you may have seen in my first introduction video, uh, I currently reside in Cyprus. Uh, so that makes getting equipment here a little bit expensive, uh, but nevertheless, uh, Telescope Express has been brilliant uh, for the equipment that I've ordered uh, over the last few months. And I just went back to them again, uh, the best shipping rates uh, for something of this size and weight uh, coming across uh, to Cyprus. So opening in the outer box, we can see inside we've got uh, another box, uh, typical uh, secondary packaging. Uh, so at the top of the box we've got the instructions or some form of instructions that uh, appear to be all in German. Opening up the inner box. Let's see if I can get this out. Unsuccessful probably. You can see we have got a piece of protective cardboard, an uh, eyepiece, uh, something or another, the finder scope, which we'll open up in a minute. And let's see if we can get this main tube assembly out of the box. Oh, we've got another box here at the bottom. Contains Two inch mirror star diagonal. And here she comes. Let's just move all this packaging out of the way. Okay, so here she is. Before we crack that open, let's take a quick look at what we've got in here. So Celestron is the two inch Luminos eyepiece, quite a hefty uh, package, I can find the cell tape. And inside, as you can see, we've got quite a large two inch eyepiece. Inside, cleaning cloth. And according to this, it's a 23 millimeter, fully multi-coated, 82 degree uh, field of view, with protective eye cap, and obviously a protective cover for the bottom. So that looks all good. Two inch star diagonal. I don't know which type it is. 
It's obviously a Celestron. Why is it you can never get into boxes easily? Two inch star diagonal, and you can see we have just your typical diagonal. It has a protective cover, screw attachment for going onto the telescope side with a nose, and on the IP side, we've got the two inch to one and a quarter adapter. So that's fairly standard. And in the box here, we've got a 50 millimeter finder scope. There we go, a nine by 50 millimeter finder scope. And it has crosshairs, obviously, in the eyepiece there. So, all good. So, the main telescope itself, well packaged as you'd expect, plenty of plastic bags as usual, which you seem to find in everything nowadays. With a large Lost Monday dovetail, which obviously fits on the Celestron CDX. I think this is the largest scope that you can really get away with uh, on the CGX mount. Uh, I know the Edge 14, uh, it comes with, uh, or you can get it with uh, a CGXL. And on the top here, you've obviously got the uh, an adapter piece, that adapter plate, the connecting the eyepiece, the two inch eyepiece adapter, and the one and a quarter eyepiece adapter. If I can undo the box. mirror locks and the focusing adjustment. Looking at the business end, we've got a screw on cover and there we have perfectly clear 2800mm F10, 11 inch, so that's 279mm and in the centre we've got the removable uh, secondary miller which allows you to install should you wish the likes of a hyperstar which takes it down to an F2 astrograph and there we have so all very beautifully made as you'd expect at this price point unfortunately at the time I placed the order they did not have the edge um, 0.7 reducer, so I'll have to wait for uh, that to come back into stock. So it'll be interesting to see how well uh, I managed to align uh, the scope with the tooth with that size of uh, focal length. So next up, let's get it onto the onto the CGX. Okay, so first up, let's get rid of the old, well not the old, but the, uh, the telescope. I'll take my camera off the focuser, because I'm damage it laying down, that's the focuser, sorry, the HR coma corrector nose. You can see there, I mean, on the Nikon Z50, and oh, that's tight. Let's 
screw that other one off. There we go. And we'll slide that out. We do have a handle on the rear end of the tube. I don't know how wide this needs to be. where the balance point is, but we'll worry about that at a later date. The last thing I want is to drop this on day one. So there we have it. NGH11, HD11 sorry, sitting on the CGX. Wonderful. So next up I just need to work out, get my image train all sorted out, get the scope balance worked out where it sits and I look forward to uh, hopefully getting some first dawn light on it uh, pretty soon. As you can see outside today, once again, we've got clear skies. So here's hoping tonight, depending how things go, we might be able to get the first light. Okay, so that's it for us now. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you later. In fact, just before we go, I missed another box in the box, which contains the finer scope mounting bracket, which sits obviously on top of the UT. I've got a screwdriver to hand, but uh, nevertheless, it sits up on top here somewhere. I'll have to look at the, uh, the instructions to see where to do it. But nevertheless, that's what that is. Alright.